Hey guys, News Now California bringing you another video. Before we get into the video, I want to give a shout out to Eyes on the State. The link is in the description. Eyes on the State gave me the lead of this story. Watch the video, everybody. I hope you enjoy it. Give the thumbs ups. Later. Mail delivery has been suspended in a Santa Monica neighborhood after three postal carriers are attacked. The post office says it's just too dangerous to deliver mail in the area. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade is live in Santa Monica with reaction from residents. MB. Yes, and Mike and Jared, many who live and work in this neighborhood are pleading tonight for something to be done to the man who they say basically terrorizes this neighborhood. He's a ticking time bomb. Corey Newman, who manages Truxton's American Bistro in Santa Monica, knows the man accused of attacking postal carriers on the street where her restaurant is, causing mail service to be suspended. She says the man is not only going after mailmen in the 1300 block of 14th Street, he's also going after residents and Newman and her employees. I walked to my car on Valentine's Day by myself in the dark, and he was standing there with a golf club swinging it, and I was more afraid of my life than ever before just to get to my car. He attacked the valet. He injured my general manager. She says 38-year-old Devon Morgan lives in this apartment right next to her parking lot and has many on the street living in fear. He was apparently homeless. However, an elderly woman lets him stay in her apartment. I told the woman that he lives with that he was constantly knocking on my door. So now he just glares hate at me, you know, and walks around with a golf club over his shoulder, which is more than a limit, little intimidating. The U.S. Postal Service Service posted a letter to residents saying multiple mail carriers have been subjected to assault and threats of assault from an individual who hasn't been located or apprehended. Why do I have to drive to the post office, pay for parking for mail that should be delivered by our tax money? The Postal Service tells me they are referring to three incidents in January, February and around the end of March. However, Santa Monica police say they're only aware of one incident on January 19th where a postal carrier was attacked but declined to press charges. Sweet tall, black guy, short hair, or not really any hair, but a bit of a beard. And he's wearing like a basketball jersey sometimes. Okay, basketball. okay, okay. But cool. So it's the first building? It's that first apartment building right there. His name is Devon. I'm not sure what his last name is, but I know that's his first name. Right on. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Can I help you with answering anything? I think the young it? man Bandit? did pretty much. Okay. Later, guys. All right, guys, I am up here in Santa Monica where this individual lives. His name is Devon, and he has come out, I guess, and he's yelling at the post people. Comes out with a big cane, I think, or a stick, and uh, hangs out in this neighborhood right here. So the post office is not delivering mail anymore to them, uh, to this whole neighborhood. Which is crazy because they feel scared of Devon. But now, who knows? He, I was speaking with a guy down here. He didn't want to be on camera because he's at work. Uh, but he said he thought he had been uh, aggressive and I think violent with a couple people. So we're going to hang here. I'm hoping I can get an interview with him because... You know, there's always two sides of the story, and there's a lot of fake news out there, people. Because let's face it, postal people aren't the most respectable people. Let me see. Maybe the valet dude would know what time's a good time this guy comes out. He says he comes out and hangs out at the gas station across the street. So what I think, I'm just going to park it here. I think I'm going to park it here. So anyways, uh, this is the building he lives in right here. Let me see if I get the number. I was just up there and thought, well, I'll walk down here and hang at the corner, but. It's 
nice area, you can tell, high rents. All right, here's the building. 1344 Santa Monica Boulevard. I don't know where he lives in it, but the crew's down here. Yeah, I'm interested in chatting with this fella. See what all the hullabaloo is about. guys isn't that interesting so the uh, fire department pulls up in front of Devon's apartment I hit a I hit a good day coming up here after all that on the news about this let's see what goes down guys here we go Here we go. Well, we're going to find out if this is Devon, who the uh, individual at the commercial building des described Devon. Six feet tall, black guy, short hair, or not really any hair, but a bit of a beard, and he's wearing like a basketball jersey sometimes. It, there may be uh, different taller individuals that live here but we'll see yeah. all right oh that's that that's that Well, maybe the stress of what's going on created this individual to get uh, help because I don't believe this is Devon. I think it's another individual that could be so stressed about get, not getting the mail that the fire department and paramedics showed up because, you know, if you don't get your mail, you know, you can have a stroke. Well, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, it's just, I'm giving uh, 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 an opinion, okay? Just giving an opinion, no facts. Till now, till now, 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 yeah.